Shall we move over to the Eastern Conference? Oh, absolutely. All right. Eastern Conference, a lot more three games left versus two. Uh, however, the first team we're going to talk about still hasn't clinched because they're kind of trash, but uh, it's whatever. Um, they will clinch just about the same time they get their own uh, stadium. Nice. See how I slid that in there? That was really good. I'm, New I'm York's... so glad they haven't clinched because now you have to talk about them. I know. It's terrible, isn't it? <laughs> um, New York City's here. Um 49 points. Basically, they just need to exist, and they're in. Um, they got Orlando at home, and then away to an, a struggling Atlanta side uh, to finish things off. I'll let you go first. Go ahead, give me, uh, give me your thoughts. Um. So let's see. What would they, to officially clinch for them? They would need. Let's see, 45 is the max. A team can have outside the playoffs. Actually, let me. Uh, yeah, so 45 is the max a team can have outside the playoffs. I think that would mean, what, 51? So they need one win to be safe for sure. Uh, I think they get that against Orlando. And then. At home or away at Atlanta. Let's see. I feel I so you you said Atlanta was struggling. I feel like they've been playing a bit better lately. Let's see, they, they beat DC at home, lost to Philly on the road, lost to Portland on the road, beat Toronto at home, beat Orlando away, and then drew Philly at home. I'm going to say they lose. I'm going to say that they lose at Atlanta. And we'll walk away with three points, but enough to get them through. Interesting. Okay, so talk about their home form. Losing to D.C. at home. Drawing Cincinnati at home. Beating Red Bull at home, which is a game that you can talk about, but it doesn't doesn't really count in the sense that that game is just a little bit more elevated, right? When you're playing against your rival, you're playing a different style. You're just doing whatever you can to win. Um, Orlando's not a bad team. They find a way to get results. Um, Atlanta away will always be difficult, especially if they can get some people going and if, uh, Pineda is fired by that point and somebody actually decides to play Yosef Martinez instead of starting him on the bench. Yeah, I, still, I can't believe that. Um, we got to start no, Dom Dwyer. Come on. <laughs> definitely no bias here. They're losing all their games and they're not making the playoffs. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I'll give them two draws because I want to see some things get interesting. So I'll give them 51 points uh, to finish the season because uh, if you really, if you look at their form home and away, you know, their last six games, one win, one draw, four losses. They're going in the wrong direction from the way that they started, right? They started red hot. They went on this streak of unbeatenness. Then they couldn't win a game. And now they're in this stretch of two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven games where they've got two wins. I mean, they're just not moving in the right direction right now. So I'll give them two draws. We'll see if we can shake things up. They have not been the same team since Tati left. Since Tati and uh, even since Ronnie Dyla left. Yeah. Right? When Ronnie left, it was, I mean, they, they got back into form a little bit, but um, yeah, definitely not the same as as what they could have been. Yeah, so. I think even if Dyla left, um, I still think if they kept Tati, they could manage it. But losing both of them was just, uh, it's it's completely flipped that team. Which right. is odd, because there's still so much talent on that team, and they they just have to sort it out at this point.